So rendering a simple Rhino animation with V-Ray 3.4. They changed the dialogue and stuff, so uh, the old tutorials on YouTube are not really working. So pretty simple. You set the animation. This you can view in other. You have a couple of options: following curve or just 360. I did a simple 360 with uh, a couple of frames on it. So let's do that. Let's do like just five frames just for this fun. And you have to ch check render full. This is the V-Ray one, not V-Ray RT, but the render full. Okay, name the testing. Done. Just a couple of frames. Uh, render output is very small, quality is low. And over here, uh, check for brute force takes longer, so irradiance might, might be just enough. You can do a secondary, I'm not doing it now. And you have to uh, check the extra options for disk catching, change it to incremental, and save it here as an untitled. Okay, and also make auto save. And you can choose the same file. Okay, I actually added uh, render elements this time uh, denoiser because it just will make the little quality maybe better. And uh, yeah, the next steps you need to do is render, and it asks you where. You say the set the folder. And run animation it's kind of cool when it finishes you run the animation press enter and here we go frame one frame two and I'll drag in the window you can see it populate you see it does the alpha I didn't find a tick to take out the alpha but I'm sure that's I don't think the alpha would take too much time or space. The denoiser adds a bit of time, but uh, it might be worth it. And this is probably compiled from, not from the denoiser, but um, you know, this is like just a couple frames. That's why it's so jittery. But at least it's working. Good luck.